Call it unusual. Well, that may be putting it a bit mildly. Yeah, I'd say. yeah this website captured major headlines when it was launched. One day, I was praying, and God spoke to me, and He said the word "born." I looked at him like, "What are you talking about? What, what did God say to you after that?" And he said, "Yeah, the founder calls it the world's first Christian porn site, and he joins us with an explanation." live for Faces of Faith right here on CNN Sunday Morning. And good morning, Jackie Jarris. Today's Faces of Faith is a dramatic departure from what we usually do. At issue is pornography, especially its proliferation on the World Wide Web. Craig Gross has started a ministry specifically aimed at helping people overcome their attraction to pornography. His website is triplexchurch.com. He is with us this morning from Los Angeles to explain more about it. Craig, good to see you. Hey, thanks for having me on. Hey, what's the first thing you want to say about this site, triplexchurch.com? Well, it's a safe place you can go to uh, to find out the facts about pornography. Uh, it, it actually doesn't have pornography on it, but uh, a site addressing the, the issue in a real way. Well, you know, you admit you're not going to be able to shut down the porn industry. Why not? Why not aim that high? You know, I think a lot of religious groups have tried that, and uh, we don't really feel uh, you're going to shut down a $13 billion a year industry. Yeah. So uh, we'd rather just um, address the issue, talk about it, and uh, let people choose where they where they like to stand on the issue, whether they think porn is good or porn is bad. And uh, we just want to present the uh, oftentimes the other side of the story. What's the other side of the story? Uh, that this stuff is dangerous, that this stuff can create unrealistic expectations about uh, what you should look like, what you should do, uh, what you should expect, both from you and your partner. Um, and oftentimes it can lead you down a, a very dangerous road. Why'd you start this? Uh, we started it, we just uh, were both you know, working amongst the church, and uh, we found that the church was really uncomfortable dealing with uh, pornography. We had support groups for uh, drug addicts, uh, people addicted to alcohol, but when it came to pornography, uh, the church had a tough time with it, so mm -hmm. we just thought, let's address this online, um, you know, both for church people and for unchurch people. I mean, there are a number of things you could have taken on. You took on pornography. Is it, was it an issue in your own life? Uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, I, I didn't grow up around the Internet. I remember I had to steal it from a liquor store, and uh, I'm 29 years old now, but the, the kids uh, mainly were the reasons that we started this website. Uh, dealing kids, what they're faced with nowadays, um, is nothing like what we are faced with and uh, this stuff has invaded our homes and uh, it's an issue that um, we've got to talk about in mm -hmm. the times that we're living today. Uh, how does the site work? I know one of the things you can do is you can download what you call accountability software. Yeah, it's a free uh, software that we found one of, the, one of the best ways to help people struggle with pornography, which is the dirty little secret, is to let somebody else know um, about it, that mm -hmm. you're struggling. So we have a free software it monitors where you go online and it sends a report to uh, somebody that you um, want it to. My wife gets my report and my best friend of any website that's questionable uh, that I would be uh, looking at. So uh, it takes away the secrecy of what you look at online. You, you talk about it as being the dirty little secret and people struggling with it. Uh, how do you know? How does someone know if they have a problem with pornography? Uh, I think um, man, a, a lot of people, I mean, a lot of times with pornography, um, it kind of finds you out. Uh, your spouse um, finds your history on your computer, or mm -hmm. you know, um, your parents, um, you know, kind of go looking for this stuff and they, and they find it. Um, oftentimes, you don't know maybe that you have a severe problem with it. Um, it it's something like we tell people: if you just let a little bit in, um, it's you know, you're opening the door, um, and eventually it's just going to swing wide open. Uh, Craig, how do you respond to folks who will say that you and your partner are nothing more than sort of uh, shameless self-promoters who have found a provocative subject to exploit here? You know what? Uh, we're trying to. <laughs> we're working on a limited budget, and uh, you're we're not making any money on this. You no, know, I mean we're we're a nonprofit organization trying to you know tackle a huge multi-billion-dollar industry um, and trying to address it in a real way. And uh, we're not out just to get publicity. We're not out just to shock people. Uh, we're out to, to raise awareness and, and talk about this issue and get okay. people um, realizing that this is something that we need to deal with. Okay, Craig, we appreciate your time this morning. Hey, thanks so much. All right, take care.